All righty, we got the Zuki done. So it was just the coil pack. We put a new coil pack on. Um, not two, three. Three bolts that hold the coil pack on. Two up top, one at the bottom. Came off, one plug to unplug the coil pack. And then four spark plug wires, pop, pop, pop. Put that on, put that all back together and She's running good now, so I think we're good. So, our driveway's kind of wore out. Came out here to take the old tractor, and I noticed the steering got a lot of play. Normally, the steering's nice and tight on this thing. Let me show you what I found out. All right, guys, tell me if you notice anything. So, I'm going to move the wheels side to side. Can you see that? Not supposed to do that. Got a lot of play. Got a lot of play right here too. And now I got a damn leak on my power steering. Uh, cylinder. And now I gotta see if I can find a rebuilt kit for the cylinder and two outer tie rods. Man, I just can't catch a break. Wanting to work on the international or the milk truck, and here I'm back on working on something else that I don't want to work on. Well, we won't do anything to it right now because. I got to see if I can find freaking parts for this thing. I don't remember what year this is. It's an oldie. I think in 96, 95 or 96. 1720 Ford. Dang nabbit. But on the bright side, we got the old Suzuki done. Well, let's go in the shop. Nice and cool in here. Now we need to get back on the old LS. But I just haven't, man. I just been so freaking busy. So Ruby uh, did great on her uh, basketball tournament. But, boy, that sure did eat up a lot of time. A lot of time. <sighs> what to do, what to do. What to do, what to do. I kind of want to go... I think we're going to go out to... Oh, what you call it? I think we're going to go out to the old International. We'll bring that trash can... Get some gloves on and a, a mask or something. Maybe. And see if we can try to get that bench seat out of there. I want to get the bench seat out. And that way when we go to pressure wash, it makes everything so much easier to clean. Uh, I'll see you guys outside. Catch me outside. How about that? Alrighty. We got the old pick -em up up truck. The old 2500 Ram is sitting here ready to pick up some crap. And Lord, do we got some crap. Well, I'm going to put me a mask on and uh, that way we're a little safer. So you won't hear me anymore. And you're like, yes, I don't have to hear him no more. Because uh, you probably won't hear me with the mask on. Let's clean some crap out. All right, we're all masked up and uh, ready to get some junk. Let's do it. Well, you probably can't hear me now. Now you can. No, you can't.
was in there. Took that cord and wrapped it around the seat. So I need to go get some snips. Snip that crap. All right, guys. It is hotter than crap out here. Have I told you that? It's hot. It's like 100 degrees outside. We probably won't be out here very long. So I can bring you guys over here so you can see. Nasty. Oh, camera mic's over here. Yeah, that's pretty nasty over here. I gotta take that dust mask off. That's enough ventilation out here. I think I'll be all right. I may put it back on when we get down there. Right? Uh, down there. I'll put the mask back on. Right now, I need to try to get some of this big stuff out. I'm about to hyperventilate in that dang thing. It is so dang hot out. Whew. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's hot outside. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. They ate the cushion right out of this thing. I'm pretty sure the seat was in pretty decent shape in 08. It had all its cushion anyway. Them rats have chewed it all up. There's not a cushion left. No cushion for the pushing. Wow. Just a frame now. So what we need to do is get in here and see if we can find the bolts. I'm going to put my mask back on. And I guess I'll start scooping that crap out and throwing it in there. But look at that that mess. Not crazy. They've been living in there for a little while. Look underneath the dash. Damn. There you go. Look underneath that dash. Woo! All right. Back at it. Man, there's just no good way to get this out. Like, I'm afraid to stick my fingers in there. I imagine there's no animals in there, but hey, you kind of leery. keep freaking myself out I'll move something and a bunch of crap moves and it's just because I moved a branch and just freaks my freaking myself out that's all I'm doing wow
I don't know if you guys even see what I'm doing. Well, what I'm trying to do is get this all cleaned out, get this seat out. That way, when we pressure wash, it makes life a lot easier, in theory. No freaking way. I don't think that seat's even bolted down. Cause uh or it's rotted away. Cause it just moved. So that'll make life a little easier. So let's go ahead and see if we can get it yanked out. My gosh, that made life a little easier. Thank goodness that thing was rotted away. I can definitely tell the floors are gone, which is no big deal. You can tell I'm out of breath. This thing's sucking my oxygen right out of me. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely no cushion left at all. Them mice have destroyed that bench seat. It is gone. We're throwing that dude away. So, if you're wondering where my bench seat is, <laughs> it's right there. Them freaking rats, mice, whatever they are. All right, let's start filling this trash can up.
All right, I'm sorry, I'm a little shaky. Uh, but I'm a little out of breath. Whew. It's hard breathing through that damn mask. Oh, we got a little bit of rottage right there. But that ain't no biggie. And over there, the rest of it looks pretty solid. But check this out. Look at all that crap. That's just hard to believe. That's just hard to believe all that came out of this truck. That's just wild. <sighs> I'm about wore out. But we got her clean, guys. I think we're ready to pressure wash. It seemed like, I think I actually lost that piece. Because I think when Ted and I were trying to get it running, I took that plate off. And I don't remember what I did with it. I have not looked to see if the keys are in here. I think it's a common key. I think I used a forklift uh, key. But I don't know. At the end of the day, it don't really matter. It's going to be a while before we get this thing running. But the transmission seems pretty good. It's good and tight. It shifts fine. It feels like it anyway. I'm getting all that crap off of there. Oh. Tripping over crap. Uh, I am tired. Oh, crap. That, that tree branch did dent that in a little bit. We're going to have to pop that out. It caved in this, and I guess it messed that up too a little bit. Whew, doggy. Well, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. I gotta take Joshua to wrestling. He's got wrestling practice. So, I think I'm gonna go get cleaned up. <sighs> and take the boy to practice. Looking pretty good though, guys. I'm excited. I am excited. So hopefully in a day or two, if I can get some time, bring the old pressure washer out. I want to pressure wash this. Well, let's get in here and cool down. <sighs> oh, that just feels so much nice. So much nice. Did I just say so much nice? I meant... Feels so good. So much nicer. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I better not rub my eyes. I got crap all over it. I don't know if that's sweat or dirt in my eyes. Oh. Oh crap, yeah, I gotta hurry up. What was I coming in here to tell you guys? Oh, that's what I was gonna say, uh yeah, I like to get out here and pressure wash the International. And uh, we'll get the old charger out to pressure wash it. I end up finding some blue paint to do my numbers. And it's the uh, peel away. So they recommend if you at least put like four to six coats. The more coats you put on this peel paint, the easier it is to peel off. For more not breathe. So, we'll get this cleaned up so we can start masking out our numbers and spray paint this and make this look like a NASCAR. My gosh. All right. I got to get in the house and get cleaned up. Uh, and give me some water. Peace out. Hey, thanks for watching. Signing off. <laughs>